I discovered through her email that my wife is cheating on me. I am heartbroken. Backstory. I first met my wife when I was 24. I was working for the company I still work at today and was on a business trip to Beijing. She was 22 and still is absolutely gorgeous and I was infatuated with her. After a little playful flirting she agreed to meet up with me again and we soon began dating. Even when I had to return to the States, we continued at LDR and I would save up to return to Beijing to meet her. She is Chinese and has very traditional parents. Her mother was welcoming, as were her two brothers, yet her father was intimidating. Despite all this, they gave me their approval to ask their daughter her hand in marriage just over a year after meeting her. This may seem quick to some but I was and still am head over heels in love with her. We married. She moved to the States with me and we started a family four years ago with the birth of my first son. My second son turned one this April. I have no money troubles. I have a large house that I own. I couldn't be happier. Now, I saw nothing wrong with my marriage until I discovered the offending emails. We have regularly, she has never seemed off with me, although recently I admit she seems more glued to her cell phone than usually. She works as a secretary for a company based in a town about 45 minutes drive from our home, so she leaves earlier than I do in the mornings and returns home after me. Recently I've been noticing her returning later than normally, her reason being she had extra work to take care of, and I thought nothing of it. I now know that reason was a lie. One afternoon, my wife was out with my two sons shopping, and I was working at home. I had to use my wife's laptop as mine was still in the office. When I logged on, an email notification popped up with the beginning of the email shown starting approximately like this. Thank you for Thursday evening, maybe meet up. I got curious and opened the email to find that my wife had spent Thursday evening with this man and that he wanted to arrange another meeting for the following Tuesday evening after work. I discovered this man worked at her company, and after looking through their emails, I discovered that she had been meeting this same man after work once or twice a week at his apartment for the past six months. The earliest email I found that suggested any kind of affair was dated late January 2012, but who knows? It could have been earlier. The man in question works at a higher position in the company my wife works at and is much richer than we are. I would guess he's in his late 40s yet I would say he is quite attractive, probably more so than I am. I am an average-looking guy, of an average build, and usually I'm not very funny. My friends repeatedly remind me how lucky I am to have such an attractive wife who has retained her figure, and I realize how many people could see her as out of my lead. I am obviously very devastated and heartbroken at the discovery, especially considering I thought I had such a happy life. My wife and kids are my everything, I love her to bits and I have no idea what to do. I don't want to split with her, especially not with my children being so young, and I definitely do not want to go through the pain of divorce. If she came back and asked to me for a second chance, I would give it to her. But what's to stop her doing it again it has been a couple of days since I uncovered these emails. I set the one I read to unread so she didn't realize I'd seen it. I've acted, as well as I can, normal with her yet I realize I need to talk to her about it. Reddit, what do you think I should do? If I should talk to her about it, what should I say to it? I'd just like to say thank you so much for the responses, there is a lot of advice here that I can really use. I think the smartest move would be consult a lawyer before confronting her in the case that she isn't genuinely sorry and wants to divorce. When I next get a chance, I will save the emails in case I need them. Even if this marriage is over, I still love my kids to bits and I don't want them to get hurt. Most people seem to suggest that if we are to divorce, we should do it now whilst they don't remember it as well, rather than later on, thank you very much, I promise I'll update you on the situation. Update. Well, there's a lot to say, even if the situation isn't 100% resolved. Firstly, I went to see a lawyer, and he told me to get all evidence of these emails in case it came to divorce. Evidence of her adultery will help me in court. He didn't advise me to use my children as pawns, but he did say whatever happens I have to stay calm, and he says he can get me joint custody of our children, which is fantastic news, as long as I can prove that with my income, and I can provide for them, which I can. I returned home and managed to get copies of emails from my wife's laptop. They've been printed off and are now in a file just in case. 
Next came confronting my wife. She arrived home on Wednesday, late as I expected, and I had already put the children to bed. I asked her why she was late, she told me she had extra work to take care of and I said, it hasn't got anything to do with, or colleague then. She seemed slightly taken aback, asked me what I meant, and I told her that I'd seen the emails, I know what's going on, I wanted to know why she did it. She began to cry, she didn't deny it, and there were a lot of tears from this point on from the both of us. Apparently he made her feel safe, as he had a good job with a high income, and that he gave her what I couldn't, and that was expensive romantic meals in restaurants, getaways in four-star hotels. Here was when I found out that when she had to go on weekend work trips, it was actually her going to a hotel with him. She felt free when she was with him, whereas with me she felt that she was trapped. She told me that marriage was such a permanent thing, and that she wasn't keen on marrying me in the first place, that because her parents and friends liked me she felt pressured into doing it, and that her affair was her way of escaping it. She told me she still loves me, and that she still wants to be with me. She said the affair wasn't my fault in the slightest, it was a result of her marrying too early and not experiencing relationships with others before she committed herself to me. She said that she would end the affair and would try to make amends with me. I wasn't totally sure whether she was telling the truth and that she would end the affair so I told her I would forgive her and we would try to go back to where we were if I was there when she ended it with her colleague in person so I knew she'd definitely done it. She agreed and we are now set to try and get our marriage back on track. It will take time, it may never be the same after she betrayed my trust, but we love each other, at least I do, and we want to fix this. She has set up a date for Sunday evening at our house, telling her colleague that the kids are at my parents' house, this is true, they will be, and that I am out of town for the night. In reality, I will be there and my wife will end it with him. I'd just like to say thank you so much Reddit for helping me, the answers I received were extremely helpful and I don't know how I would have lasted this without your advice. Edit. After browsing these comments, I can see the risks associated with the plans me and my wife had made. After all, what is to stop her cheating again? She could potentially side with him and make secret plans with him and backstab me when he comes around. Thank you for the advice alarm bells are beginning to ring. Even though I still love my wife deeply, there's nothing to suggest she will be trustworthy with me. I have decided to do the following insist she quits her job. If she truly wants to end the affair, surely she will have no qualms about doing this. She is intelligent, she has a great resume and has good qualifications. I'm positive she'll be able to get a new job of equal pay. Invite my friend over at the same time as when we meet her colleague, just to ensure nothing will go wrong. I've informed him of my situation and he has agreed to come around. We're not violent people, and despite the hate I feel for this guy, I wouldn't resort to violence upon meeting him knowing the consequences. If she uneasy about either of these, this may suggest she plans on continuing the affair. If so, I may have to admit my marriage is over. I'm not looking out for me, I'm looking out for my kids. They are the ones who will suffer the most from this, not me and I have decided that I'd rather end this marriage sooner rather than later. Update 1. Everyone, I have an anticlimactic and, for me, heartbreaking ending to this story. I haven't posted an update since because I couldn't bring myself to post it sooner due to being drunk and upset most of that time. I told her to quit her job. That was the only way I could be sure the affair would end. She argued it wasn't easy to get another one, but eventually reluctantly agreed to do it. I also informed her that I planned to invite my friend along with us. Here, she told me to stop talking. She then basically told me she didn't want to be with me any longer. She originally said she wanted to stay with me for the children but now realizes she can't stay with me anymore. Apparently I'm not attractive, dull, bad in bed, each reason felt like a crushing blow to my confidence and my heart, as cliché as that sounds. She told me this on Saturday morning. She left an hour later with her stuff to go to his place. For those who said, he hasn't got a wife. He is divorced. I informed my friend and my parents. They had the kids for an extra couple of days. I'm actually glad I didn't have to go through this meeting, as she probably would have ended it there in front of him, which would have been more embarrassing. I'm going to speak to a lawyer and begin divorce proceedings at the end of the week. I'm temporarily looking after the children at the minute, 
although she's coming over tomorrow to see them. This is the end of my marriage, I didn't realize how not in love my wife was. She's obviously never felt the same for me, this will take some time to get over. Thank you to Reddit for all your help, you guys have been my only friends in this.